What neural and psychological systems make us compete with someone's fake confidence, even when we know it's fake? The human brain comes with dominance detection circuits, the amygdala, anterior cingulate cortex, and the prefrontal cortex. They react automatically to displays of confidence, real or not, triggering a need to establish our own rank in front of others. If someone performs confidence in front of us, it activates our own social comparison network, medial prefrontal cortex, which evaluates status differences and can generate a corrective impulse which says reassert your position. Studies on compensatory dominance shows that people try to display strength when their sense of social power feels challenged, even subtly, because the brain treats status as a resource linked to safety and control. Oh, testosterone and cortisol. These two interplay during these moments. A perceived status threat raises stress hormones, which is these two, and showing dominance becomes a neurochemical strategy to restore internal balance. Oh, manhood. Even when nobody's watching, the behavior persists because social rank is internalized. The brain maintains a mental audience and proving superiority reinforces self-concept of stability through reward pathways like the ventral stratum. For the ending, know that dominance behavior isn't just social, it runs an ancient circuitry designed to keep your internal hierarchy map intact.